I'm re-uploading this because I read the comments section on the first video, and though it was well-rated, it seemed one of my key points was misunderstood and badly phrased on my part, so I'm going to correct that. There's an issue with the legal system in the United States that I wanted to talk about, and I refer to this issue as the criminalization of knowledge, and the injustice it brings to the legal system. It seems more and more that social stigma is being created against people who know things. And I feel that progressively we're making smart people ashamed to be smart, and stupid people proud to be stupid. And the worst part of this is that it seems to be bleeding into our courtrooms. I don't think that this social taboo should have a place in our legal system. Picture this. I go into a courtroom, and I am accused of rape. And I say the following. I didn't rape her because if I raped her, I would have killed her after, and if I killed her, you wouldn't have found the body. So this would have been a disappearance case, and I would never have wound up in a courtroom. Now I'm not saying that we should suddenly let people go based on this claim, because that isn't enough to clear someone's name. But consider the point in the abstract. If I am going to conduct a murder, it is more beneficial to me to make the case a disappearance, and it isn't rational for me to not get rid of the body if I have the opportunity to do so. Now consider the results of me pointing this out. How do you think the jury would respond if I asked why a murder victim's body was left around to drag me into court, if I would have had ample time to remove it? The simple act of being aware enough about murder to ask that can have negative consequences. If I made the observation that I would have had ample time to remove the body and it would be to my benefit to do so, the result may contribute against me. My concern would be that people would infer me being informed about murder to actually being a murderer. And my concern is that people will rationalize, well, maybe he has a point, but he knows how to kill people and get rid of bodies. So let's assume he knows because he's done it before. That way some bad guy can pay for this crime. And the thought process of the jury isn't going to go much further beyond that point. They might rationalize that because I'm informed enough about murder to criticize their argument, that in itself is evidence against me. And people would rather settle for a bad guy being convicted than trying to catch the actual criminal, which may or may not be possible. It's this intellectual tar pit that caters to emotions instead of critical thinking. People want to believe that the society they inhabit is capable of protecting them and bringing justice to lawbreakers, so people are willing to make intellectual sacrifices to maintain that belief. As Caesar said, men freely believe that which they desire to be true. And people want to live in a safe and secure society. People want to believe that the law is capable of protecting them and will protect them. Even if it's not true and even if they convict innocent people. They are making an assumption, not a rationalized point, but an assumption that I am guilty because I had the means to prove probability of innocence. And I'm not saying that everybody who says, you wouldn't have found the body, should suddenly be let go. If everyone did that, then the rationalization isn't good anymore, because then it's being used as a cover-up. But what I'm saying is that people make assumptions and fill in blanks to help the legal system look like it's doing a good job. They will assume that I know how to get rid of bodies because I've murdered a bunch of people, whether it's true or not. They will assume that I'm a bad guy and convicting me is the right way to go, and then they'll try not to think about how the real killer is still out there because they'd rather feeling like they put a bad guy away than actually trying to make the society safer. Because having to do that requires the mental acceptance that the legal system isn't perfect, and not necessarily capable of protecting people or bringing people justice. And people would rather throw each other under the bus to preserve the illusion that it is capable. It's a case of delusion over truth. And our legal system is full of that, isn't it? Let's talk about the suspicion triangle. Motive, means, and opportunity. If you fill out these three categories, you can potentially be found guilty. But pretty much anyone that is informed already fills out the means category. I know how to kill someone, I know how to get rid of the body, and it is within my power to murder someone if I choose to invest the time required with which to do it. But because I have that information, I am, in a way, liable for possession of information. That is the crime. Possession of information. You are more liable to be convicted in court if you seem like you're more capable of conducting the criminal act. It's this assumption that anyone possessing the information came upon the information by way of needing it. You know how to get rid of bodies, ergo, you've got rid of bodies. You know how 2 plus 2 equals 4, ergo, you've added 2 plus 2 to make 4. You know how to smuggle weapons into the United States, ergo, you've smuggled weapons into the United States. You know how humans got to the moon, ergo, you've been to the moon. The scenario starts to get ridiculous after a while. If you exaggerate the scale, it draws attention to how bad this intellectual tar pit really is. Because I know the method used to put a person on the moon does not mean that I myself have been to the moon. And that's the rationalization presented here. It's just presented on a slightly different scale. Because most people can't afford to go to the moon, but a lot of people can drop a few hundred dollars on materials to do a murder and remove the body. But I know how to book a fight to England. Have I been to England? 
No. Now, from this point, the idea is that you come across information by way of researching it. If I haven't been to England, I must have had the desire to visit England, hence my knowledge of how to book airline tickets. Ergo, I know how to get rid of a body, I must have been thinking about murdering someone. Which isn't actually a crime, but will get you convicted anyway. The thing is, that rationalization is also false. Humans don't obtain information on basis of research alone. The human mind is bombarded with information constantly, from many random sources. And information often comes to you despite the fact that you made no effort to obtain it. Beyond that point, if you are someone who keeps in touch with the world around you, and you look at the flaws of the legal system, you pay attention to events overseas such as Greece and Syria, you'll start to obtain information about them by proxy. For example, someone who works with the police doing drug busts might be very well aware of how to make those drugs as well as how to successfully smuggle them into the country. Not because he wanted to do it, but because his occupation made it more likely that he'd obtain that information. So if I do research on the legal system with the intention of improving it and identifying its faults, and I find faults with it, and find out how to get away with crimes, am I automatically a criminal? I don't think that mindset is healthy if the citizenry is ever going to accomplish anything and make intellectual progress and reform the legal system. How can we figure out what's wrong if researching what's wrong is considered wrong? Because what kind of logic is that? I'm a bad person because I actually care about what's going on in Syria right now. I'm a bad person because I care what's going on in Greece. I'm a bad person because I wanted to do research into making the legal system better, and I discovered faults with it. How does that make sense? I don't want to live in that kind of society. I don't want to be presumed guilty of rape, not because of DNA evidence, not because of witnesses, but because I'm a larger and stronger person. I don't want to be presumed guilty of murder when people know it's false, and if only I had smarter and less emotionally weak people on my jury, I wouldn't have been found guilty. I don't want to live in a society where actually doing research and being a critical thinker is perceived as a morally reprehensible and sometimes illegal activity. I don't want possession of information to be considered a legitimate crime. I don't want that to be my country. That is not a flag I'm willing to represent. Can't I want something greater? I'll see you next time.